And in the other night in one of the videos, it looks like we've got a monkey. No way. <laughs> it looks like a monkey, but surely it's a cat. Hi, I'm Melanie. Hi, I'm Molly, and welcome to our channel. If you haven't already, oh yeah, please like and subscribe. She doesn't like saying it, so I will. Yeah, it would be awesome if you did. Yeah. Uh, we do, Molly does a lot of makeup. I do. I do a lot of trash. It's always trash that I'm doing, I feel <clears throat> like. Today we decided we'd get together and film just because we can. We're both yeah. here and Molly said, let's just go do it because it was so long between our last Our video. last couple, yeah. you know, we're hitting just so long. Yeah, so we're just going to do it. We're just going to do we're it. We're going to wing it. And honestly, you guys, I was telling her, a lot of our comments, you guys are like, we like the, the banter, the chit chat, the conversation before and after like our videos and yeah y'all aren't expecting us to be professional <laughs> <laughs> i like that if y'all have suggestions of things you want us to try or topics you want us to talk about we're more than open to figuring that out otherwise you're going to get makeup and trash and an occasional random other yeah, thing yeah today is very random very because random. i did not come prepared at all so um let's let's get going do you want to talk about something first and then i'll just kind of join in or or what the color on my lips oh yeah i i watch tiktok and i know that that can be controversial because i just can't figure it out on tiktok i find all kinds of things that i want to try and this is one of them and it's this lip color now this has been around for eons and you guys probably already know about it but i didn't and i love it this is from Clinique, is the color 06, which is Black Honey. And I saw huh. it in a TikTok video, and they showed me, Look how dark and they were like, y'all, this looks so dark, but when you put it on, it like shears out, and it's a beautiful wash of color. And that's Clinique. And it's Clinique, and it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. Did it come in your deal? Your no. boxy charm? No. Hmm. I had to place an order, and I did... Ulta pickup, um, but last time I was in Ulta, it wasn't even there because I really think that since it's trending, it's hard to find. But it's beautiful, and if you're looking for something different or a fall color, and it's sheer, which I wear, sheer I've been wearing it during dark. the summer. But you know, it it goes for summer or fall. I don't know. You do yeah. what you want. Yeah, love it. Um, I'm I'm wearing a shirt. You are wearing a shirt. And this is a Goodwill shirt. It's really cute. What do you think of this? It's really cute. Well, it's it, colorful. My friend Pam, she hates that I buy so much embroidered stuff. It does. It does. But I could I couldn't resist it. And also It's very you. Let me tell you, it's an anthropology brand. So I I like anthropology. You do. I mean, you've mentioned that. I like that. their boho stuff, but I mm -hmm. can't afford it because it's ridiculously priced. And so I keep an eye out for it at the Goodwill. Never see it. Never, never, never. So I did get online one time, and they were having a clearance, clearance, clearance sale. And I thought I'm buying something from Anthropology. So I got myself a hot pink blouse. And it was silky. Have you ever seen me wear it? Mm -mm. No. No, because I look like a flamenco dancer at a, a Mexican restaurant, if if that's what happens at Mexican restaurants. It's a restaurant. shirt? It is a blouse, and it is just hideous. And so, to feel good about it, I would have to say, yes, it's a hideous shirt, but I bought it off of Anthropology, And that's... That... It's just not, it just wasn't the thing to do. This I like. Yeah, no, that's very cute. And I probably couldn't have afforded it in the, I say I couldn't afford it. I'm not a poor person. I would not have spent. <laughs> she is a frugal person. I would not have spent the money. And that, that silk pink shirt probably was $15. But I. Do you I, still have it? I still have it in my closet. <clears throat> the tag is still on it. And seriously, you could put a black skirt, and I could put a rose in my mouth, and Next I could video. just I could just dance around the room, and it would make perfect sense. But Next just to video, just to wear it, mm -mm. no, no. So that's my story on that. You know, one time you went to Anthropology, 
I did. You did. And they have candles there. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's what I remember. And she bought me a candle, and it smelled yes. amazing. See, I think their stuff must be quality. It smells so. It smelled so good. I still remember that. Yeah. Because I could see you going to anthropology, not Where? buying anything, but going. I'm gonna buy this candle. Where was that? I, I mean, don't remember. It must be in a big city like Dallas. Yeah, or Houston. I wasn't with you though. Yeah, because we something we don't have. That here. No, we don't have it here. Now, you picked out something good this last week that I like. I These? like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were expensive. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm distracted because I got my, well, I got my mail lady. Oh, packages. <laughs> She's got quite the load. I, you know, we just had Labor Day and I was off um, and I was sick. And I still, I don't know, some of you guys who watch us often may think she sounds a little gravelly or something but I was sick and so I thought I think it's kind of funny I spent the day pretty much resting and Christmas shopping online you'll have it done in no time I love getting an early start on Christmas shopping and now that I work I'm like okay now I really have to be on it and so I bet that's what my male ladies bring well, you had us presents. draw for names in when? July in at July. our family reunion because everyone was there except Daisy yeah yeah and, and I'm glad that I did because I'm already being productive. Now, I did buy these Christmas presents medicated. Yeah. So well, that ought to be interesting. There might be a couple of things that yeah, are... Yeah, and I'm trying to think where my list might be. And I write it down for everyone because about De November no, to no. early December. Yeah, December about the 10th. It I'll depends. Say, where is that list? Yeah, it depends on which family member because y'all do start reaching out, yeah. you know, late October to early December. I don't know who's going to message me. Because yeah. they don't have it written down. Yeah, one of these days. Well, show them what you Okay, got. sorry. Okay, so these were expensive. <laughs> and I showed y'all recently some shoes I got and boots that I got off, of, got off of Amazon. And I did not spend a ton of money, <clears throat> you know, in what I think. These are from Dillard's. They're Sorrel, the brand Sorrel. I never heard of that brand. And they are so comfortable. But they look... They're a wedge, you know. They look quality. They've got a... You know, they're a wedge boot. Is that what you call it when it's got a, a heel in it, but it's not a... I don't know what you call it. You know, so I, it makes me tall. Yeah. But I just love them. I have those black boots that I've gotten off of Amazon, and I feel like this will give me my brown boot. Mm -hmm. And they're just... They don't and have they a zipper. Like they just lace up, and I just love them. And they're a size 8. Really? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, they're a size 8. And I had asked to try on an eight and a half, but they didn't have one. Uh, and she said, but sometimes, you know, you never know how sizes run. I used to be a nine and a half. Oh, wow. I used to be a nine and a half so size you lost, foot. lost weight in your feet. In my feet. Anyway, so I'm pretty much an, an eight and a half these days, but those were um, an eight. But I love them. I love them, and I cannot wait to wear them with some October cute. 1st. I thought we got. I thought we got to start in September. I don't know. It could be sooner. I changed over the library to have a fall theme. Yeah, so I'm hoping good. that it it's... looked really good in there too. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Dillard's, I went in there last week. You don't know this, but um, I had to go in there last week. And since I found out I was diabetic, I've worked really hard at taking some pounds off. So y'all know all the things that change when you lose some weight. So Dillard's is where you go to get fitted for undergarments. Should we talk about undergarments did on this channel? Did you go get fitted? I did. And they do that during COVID? Yeah. Okay, well, so I think I watched someone talk about that the other day for themselves. Oh, really? And they were like, they couldn't be in, you know, they couldn't do things. And so they were walking me through it. And I was like, oh, I would just be like, not happening. Because oh, I don't know what I'm doing. But I can't. She wasn't really... I mean, it wasn't an intimate. I'm not saying it's bad. I just situation. I'm just surprised. She may have even had a mask on. I don't remember. Anyway, but I I tried on a slew of them, and I was I was a completely different size. Um, but what I especially remember is when I checked out. I thought that's a car payment. Oh yeah. Yeah, that it it was uh, it was an investment. Yeah, those were investment pieces. I got a couple from Target, and I thought that they would work, and they didn't. They were terrible, 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 terrible. 
And so I'm like, you know what, Jonathan, I just, I have to go to Dillard's. That's where I always find something. Like that's where I have my best mm -hmm. luck. And so I did, and I got lucky because it was like at the end of spring or something. And it they, was on sale. Oh yeah, they're like spring patterns or whatever. And I'm like, I don't care what they look like. Me either, but and there was nothing. Sale. Oh yeah. There was nothing on the sale rack that would. Do. And it was still expensive. Yeah. This was the sweetest lady. She did an excellent job. I probably tried on 33. Oh my. I mean, it, it was it was quite the procedure. But once you find what what works, you're like, "Oh, finally." Oh yeah, and I'm going to have them bronzed when when I outgrow them. Her or I don't know. I don't want to outgrow them. I don't know, but it it was quite the experience. So that was my Dillard's experience. And I just felt like I needed to tell Bob, not that he cares, he doesn't even look, but I just said, I, I, made, I made an investment today in, uh, in my future. <laughs> so, future. Well, I'm gonna be, have to wear them for the next 10 years. To pay him to, off. To <laughs> pay him off. Yeah. So, it's just amazing, and that makes me think, if men's underwear, oh, like, yeah. I mean, they're not as expensive. Uh -uh. So, and, and it's not that much fabric. So, I don't know if it goes into the engineering process or... I, I don't know. I mean, are they using materials that are just so hard to come by? Are they rare? So. Are they? I don't think so. I think it's really... I feel... I think they may have us on that. Yeah. So, well, I didn't intend to talk about undergarments, but I did. Let's talk about hydrating face mist. Yes. I got this in my boxy charm. If you watched our last video, this was one of the things. It looks like I hadn't used any, but I have. I've been using it since then. So it lasts a long time. Yeah, the only thing I hate is this sprayer. I absolutely hate this sprayer. The sprayer is terrible. It's like if you wanted to spray your face and you would want to go and just go whoosh, instead it goes whoosh. And it's like, well, how do I get it on my face? Because it's well, like it, a cone. There is a, oh, is her name Mrs. Melissa? It's not Melissa 55, who I love, but this is, I think, Mrs. Melissa. And I saw her doing what she does. She sprays her brush. She sprays her brush, and then she dabs this onto her face. I'm pretty sure. And she said that that was life changing for her. Really? Because she didn't like, she's like you, she didn't like spraying it. Well, and then if it gets in my hair, yeah. it makes my hair greasier quicker. And as we also discussed in the last video or a yeah. previous video, I try to wash it like once a week. I don't want to, I don't want it to get greasier faster. Yeah. And some of this stuff can, you know, it's hydrating. So I'm trying not to, to just douse my hair. <laughs> right. So I've, I've, I spray it this way like this and then I just try to catch it well you want to try it her way just one I, yeah, I should what would it I hurt? don't I don't love using brushes for wet products for foundation I don't like wetting them and then using eyeshadow but if I to do something like this m maybe you know and sometimes yeah. when you step outside of I can try it yeah. but if not I've, I have already thought that I have um, a finishing spray that I've been using that I had gotten in my boxy charm, and I'm almost done with it. I like it too. Uh, this I do before my makeup, and the sprayer is pretty good on that one. And I thought, well, if I had to like screw it on top of this one, I, th I think it would fit. So, I mean, I was trying to think about yeah ways that I could utilize well, that makes it. Makes sense. Oh, but all that to say is this is really good, and I really do like doing it before my makeup. My skin is so dry, and I really like it. Oh, and it's got. Calcium, zinc, cop copper, magnesium, and potassium. Hmm. Anyway. So well, oh, and it smells like clean laundry. And not in an overwhelming way, but just in a lovely, just got them out of the dryer kind of scent. Yeah, that's a good smell. Yeah. And in my makeup today, um, I, I just sat down and, and started filming. So... I have nothing really special to say because today was Grandparents Day. Grandparents at, Day. And so I got to go to Hattie's school. And I have to tell you, it was just, there was a little bit of anxiety for me about the whole situation. Why? Well, why you ask? I happened to make a video about <laughs> it while I was sitting in the car. Really? And I, 
Yeah, and so I thought, if we get together to do a video, I'm going to tell you to insert it right here, and it talks about my anxiety about Grandparents Day. So just insert it right here. Today is a very big day, and I wanted to get on here and just share that with you. Uh, today is Grandparents Day at Hattie's School, and I'm excited about it. Uh, it is a parade in your vehicle, and um, things like this, I, I get kind of uh, jittery over. I, I began to think last night, okay, Melanie, when I guess when I saw the map, there's a map involved, and it has arrows, and, and oh, it has a northwest, southeast uh, one of those things, compass kind of deals. And I begin to think, oh, this, this is more than, I'm, I was just going to kind of toot, toot through and wave and, and there you go. But now I'm realizing it's probably a bigger deal than that. And so last night I thought I better get this figured out because it sounds like one of those situations where I could get in this parade and then there'll be some other grandparents who have like, floral floralize their cars or or have a mariachi band um, in the back of the truck for the kids or something and then here I am for for Hattie and so I I had to send out some feelers like okay is this what is this about is this is there something else I'm supposed to be doing as a to be a good grandparent you know and so I um I did get a text message back and my friend Renee was so kind as to send a picture of last year's parade. And sure enough, um, those sweet the grandparents, they had their vehicle decorated. They had poster boards. They had some streamers and everything. And so I thought, well, all right, get with it, old girl. And so I, I found some poster board at home and I found a marker and I've got two signs made up, but, um, it's pretty, it's pretty weak. It's pretty weak. I, I'm about 30 minutes early to the parade because I'm nervous about the map and going through in the right way. I know other people don't, they probably don't do this kind of stuff and it just, it's ridiculous, but I have just fixated on it. So as I have driven over here and y'all, I'm sitting in one of those, you know, pack it and go, buy it and leave little stores and, um, in their parking lot, um, I thought, why am I this way about stuff like this? And I am reminded why I am this way. And it is because, it is because when Molly took dance lessons many, many years ago, okay, we're talking over 30 years ago, I was so proud that she was taking dance. And that was wonderful. And then it came time for recital and we bought the little, the little outfits, you know, and they weren't cheap. We bought those little outfits and it was a, a big deal. And we got all ready for that event that night. And then when, when we arrived at that recital, there were people who had huge bouquets of flowers and they had stuffed animals, big stuffed animals and everything for um, the event. And so I just ask around, what is happening here? What it, What is this about? And so fellow dance parents said, oh yeah, when it's recital night, everybody brings gifts for the children and they bring uh, bouquets and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I was clueless. I was absolutely clueless. And so I'm panicked. I thought, well, don't we look like uh, mom and dad of the year in this situation? But too late. There's nothing we can do about it. We'll just hug her extra big. We're proud she's up there. And we're, we're glad to be able to pull it off and everything. And I got to thinking about that. You know, I'm the one that, that's been shuttling her back and forth and we're the ones that have paid for the uniforms and, and the dance lessons and, and not to be nitpicky, but I just began to think if anybody's going to get a, a bouquet or, or something stuffed, I just thought it ought to be, it ought to be me. But nevertheless, that's neither here nor there because the event was going on and we were there without the, the proper 
accoutrements. And so, very thankfully, very thankfully, <clears throat> a fellow mother who I do believe her daughter was taking dance when, when probably she was still in the womb. She, she, I guess, knew me. And so she came up to me and said, Melanie, I, I went in and brought, uh, bought an extra bouquet for uh, Molly because I wasn't sure that you would know that this is how it operated. And I was so thankful. I was so thankful for that. But ever since then, I've just been kind of freaked out over these kinds of situations. Like, am, am I just going to be inadequate? Just inadequate. And I want to be a good grandma. But my goodness, I, it's just a whole new world out there. So I'm fixing to go to a parade. And I am what I am. And I've got what I've got. And I'm just going to wave extra big. And I hope that Hattie won't notice that. <clears throat> there's no streamers or there's no mariachi band. It's it's just cookie. It's just cookie here. That's it. Yep, y'all have a good day. About. Okay, yeah. now you have watched the video. You've watched the video. Everything turned out fine. I'll know a few things for next year on what to do. There were some grannies that they had every inch. Well, you saw they had balloons and and all kinds of stuff. There was a huge, there was one car that had a huge poster, like, like covered almost the the half of their SUV of their, this kid. There was a Meemaw up ahead of me uh, when we were waiting in line. And I'm telling you, that woman, she was having the best time and she was so excited. So I can't get irritated with the Meemaws and the Peepaws. There was a lot of Oh, they were so cute and they, they drove by. Yeah. Mm. So, anyway, I enjoyed it, but, and I made it through fine, and y'all seen what my anxieties were, and some of it I told a story about you, but you'll just have to watch the video to see it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's all over until next year, and then after I got Hattie, because I got to get her and take her from the school, what she wanted to do was to go and buy some pretzels. These are, and I'm going to do it real slow, right there. These are Dots Home Style Pretzels. They're amazing. If you haven't had them, they are wonderful. They're absolutely wonderful. They are probably what I would say addictive. They're like gourmet They're that pretzels. Good. Not the kind of dipped in chocolate, but it's like garlic, salt, and, and just a bunch of flavor. They have a Moorish taste. What's a Moorish? Where you just want more. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. That was like a, okay. You yes, just, they absolutely do. Yeah, you just go, oh, more, more, more. And before you know it, you've eaten the whole thing. Family get-togethers, order some of those, just put them in a bowl, and yeah. they will love it. And I think they sell these at Kroger now. They used to just sell it at Ace Hardware. Yes. Isn't that a weird place to buy pretzels? But they did, and then they got real famous, and I think Dot, whoever Dot may be, her picture's right there. <laughs> Way to go, Dot. She, Dot hit it big with her, <laughs> with her pretzel recipe, and I think Kroger now carries them, and they carry bigger bags of them. But I didn't want to go in Kroger, so I, da Daisy, so Hattie and I went in and bought this, this little bag. Uh, not that I... This, I but know. this was four dollars and something, and money well spent because Hattie loved it and it was wonderful. But we stopped at the lake. Our church has property and there's a lake, so our community can come out there and enjoy the ducks and the water and all. And so after we got there, uh, Hattie decided that this would be great to feed the ducks, and I was like, no, let's let's don't feed them this stuff. Cookie and said, I spend four dollars to feed, feed those ducks. ducks so we uh we we had a, a a new friend i met people while i was out there <laughs> and she said we've got all this leftover they had bread and bugles oh good and y'all if that was environmentally incorrect 
Oh, I hope. What I do you mean? Hope. Well, you know, some people may love ducks and say you're not supposed to feed them bread. Oh, we or, always take or bread bugles. down there to feed the ducks. Well, there was a lady that came with deer corn. Oh yeah, you yeah, because you told me that. Yeah, and and the ducks seemed to love it, but I don't know if they loved it more than the bread. But, yeah. But ducks may they they may need to go gluten free. I have no idea. With I don't ducks. know either, y'all. Anyway, that's my story on that. But you know, when they see that bread. And they haven't eaten all day. Because there have been times we've gone and, and we're like, no one must have come out yet today. Because they were starving. Because they're starving. Yeah. And then there's times we go out and they're like, oh, just more of that. And yeah. they, they seem totally yeah. un- uninterested. Well, there's there's a lot of them. And they're great fun to Yeah, they are really watch. fun. Yeah, what else you got there? Okay, so this is the other thing. It's a TikTok made me buy it. And this is from Revlon. It's an oil control on the go. Now, I don't get oily because I have dry skin, so this may be a little tricky, but I have been wearing my mask and breathing my hot air into it at the school, yeah. and it has maybe, I don't know, can you even tell if, am I oily at all? Because, you know, I do use this stuff, and I, I try to make my skin on the dewier side. Me. You look, I mean, you, your makeup looks good to me. I have no mirror, but if you... If I'm not a good video to watch, if this is not a good example, yeah, a good, what do you call it? Demonstration. Demonstration. Just look up Revlon oil control because I have seen some videos where these women, they just take this thing, oh, I'm pushing down too hard, and they just roll it over. I'm not understanding. Is that a sponge? Is it, it's, I can hear it. Is it a rock? Do it's you, like a, a piece of I marble. Look, do I look? Any less oily? Do you see like a streak of non-oily? Yeah, yeah. I saw a little, like a little, a like, little line. and I was just thinking right up here is where I'd probably get oily. Yeah, and and it's supposed to pick it up on this little roller ball. And is that I don't want to touch it. Is it hard? Is it a hard? Yeah, it's situation? a hard. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real volcanic stone. It volcanic. Okay, volcanic. I knew it had to be a rock. It sounds like a rock on your face. It's reusable and easy to wash. Oh, you wash it to clean. Oh. You twist the ring lockwise. Oh, oh, oh look, well, the whole look. thing comes apart. It does. See, all I ever find on TikTok are stories like. I'm, I married my cat and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm serious. Never do I see anything that. Well, okay. Where I click on it. When you get on TikTok, if you double tap, that means you heart a video, right? Kind of like on Instagram. You double tap, you like someone's picture, story, whatever. Well, mm. you only do it to the things you like. As you like things, you see more of them. So, well, maybe I haven't got a good run and start. You need to get a good run and start because most of mine are home remodels, oh, no. crafts. I've never seen that. Never. Art. Never. Uh, like, there's this one guy that I follow just because I think it's so interesting. And he has this huge, uh, what do you call a painter's artist tray? You know, like a can, well, not a canvas, but, you know, that he mixes paints on, right? And so he gets, he has all these different colors that are around it. And he grabs an item, you know, it could be, it could be my boot and he, he picks us, you know, whatever. And he just mixes, grabs different colors and he'll, and he'll put it on whatever the item is that he's making the color match yeah. and show that it, it is like exact. Wow. And I just think it's interesting. It's short and I'm just like, man, that is no. just so neat to have that gift to go. I need to add a little Never. more pink and a little more green and Never. anyway. Never. It's like yeah. I had my nose surgically removed and sent to Mars. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's that kind of stuff. Okay. Or the <laughs> Kardashians. The Kardashians. Oh, no. I've I don't never, ever see any of their I've, stuff. I've never even watched the Kardashians. I never, ever see any of their stuff. I also, I see a lot of uh, little makeup things. And there's this other girl I watch. I think she might also be a YouTuber. But she is really big on TikTok. And, uh, and sometimes the way I do my hair is because of one of her videos that she oh. saw a video and she's like, okay, I'm trying it y'all. And then she'll do it. And I'm like, okay, well, if she can do it. I can do it. Yeah. So okay. we need to just work on that. And if you're not on TikTok, you don't have to be, I but if you're interested, there are some really neat, funny things on there. Yeah. You can just be on everything and I don't want to be on everything, but I send Jason, my brother-in-law. Yeah. I just send him little TikTok videos of people getting their ears cleaned out. 
No, see, I don't want, I don't, I don't care to see that. And every now and then he'll send me something back that he knows I don't, I don't oh. like, just mm. because I know that he doesn't like watching people get their hairs cleaned out. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'll probably just steer clear of it. Molly. Y'all, I don't remember how much this was. I got it off of Amazon. <coughs> uh, I got it, Gina. If you're watching. This is part of your Christmas present, not this one, not your, oh. not a used one, a fresh, clean one, uh, because I am putting together a little Christmas basket for Gina, who's also on TikTok, with things that are like hashtag TikTok made me buy. Am I getting one of those? No, ma'am. Okay. If you want one, I will totally get I'm you fine. one. I'm fine. Fine without it. <laughs> so this is yeah. one, not this one, but Gina's getting one. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still. Yeah, Penny, but all right, y'all. Is isn't that it of our? I don't even know what else to talk about at this point. You were gonna say something about the house, I thought. Oh yeah, it hasn't sold. The house hasn't sold. I bet we've had what twenty five showings at this point. A lot, y'all, and they've had offers, <laughs> verbal offers, written offers. Uh, and it's been so interesting, y'all. Pe- people are interesting, and. Uh, some people have come out and there we let y'all saw we have another video let's link that video below yes but we live out in the country and we've had two families who were uh somewhat dismayed that there were spiders on the property we've got 13 acres and and now now we've got a coyote and then we've got some wild hogs and Bob's got out game cameras and he's keeping an eye on what's going on. And in the other night in one of the videos, it looks like we've got a monkey. No way. <laughs> it looks like a monkey, but surely it's a cat. It's got to be a cat or a dog. Because I don't Who think... Who saw it? Is it Bob? Bob no, doesn't see no, very good. No, it's a pic. The game, the game camera I takes know. the pictures and it sends, you to your, it sends it to your phone. And I said, Bob, this looks like a monkey sitting out there uh-huh. and I know it can't be but all that to say <laughs> is that the wild hogs came and tore up the yard we had to fix that and you could see people on the game camera like when they arrived at our house they pointed to where oh, the wild hogs yeah. had been and then they just turned around and left so it's been it's been different and then we did have a contract on the house but then it fell through and it fell through because uh, the people said the house was just they didn't like the floor plan that it didn't have a modern floor plan well it was built in 1907 yeah there there wasn't an open concept back then <laughs> so it's all right because i just i've been praying about it lord move us out of there if we need to go and if we need to stay out there it's beautiful <sighs> I know, but it would be so nice for y'all to be three seconds from me. I know. It just hadn't happened yet. I know. It hasn't happened. So we're continuing Anybody? on with that. <laughs> Anybody? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. But if that's a monkey. Oh, my God. It's not. <laughs> it's not a monkey. It's just so funny to think about because uh, that's exactly what it looked like on that game camera. So what has been so fun about the game camera is that now I know where they are close up to the house. And so during the day, like, I will go out there and I will, you know, do stuff. Just because I know it sends it to Bob at work. Oh, and I thought so, you were talking about you saw hogs. Like, you can see the hogs and oh, they're no, out in the house. No, the hogs sleep at night. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, no, they they sleep during the day. I mean, yes, yeah, they sleep okay. in the day. Okay. And then they come out. I thought you're like, I was trying to be like, don't come over here. I, no, you know. no. They sleep during the the yeah. day, and then they come out in the wee hours of the morning. But just to keep Bob having something to look at, I will go out there, and I'll, you know, I'll do, do a st- jig. A, yeah, or a dance, or yesterday I did this bow, you know, and because and I, I know it goes to his phone. And, it, and so he'll be looking to see what happened, and it'll just be me. When we first got our uh, doorbell camera thing, yeah, Jonathan and I would do things like that to each other, but now we're over. <laughs> yeah, the fun will wear off. It's, in fact, it's already fake. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, we're glad you stopped in for this this conversation is oh, basically there is one what more it's thing. been. That's right. scary. No. Okay, right. I thought I made you jump. <coughs> Sorry. 
I made an Instagram video. If you don't follow us over on Instagram, you can. I was dead there for a while, but I have resurrected. Oh, Is yeah, that a bad yeah. thing to say? No, we needed resurrected <laughs> we over did. there. Um, and so I had mentioned about your Bible study. And we know that not all of our subscribers or followers or watchers are, are Christians or even are interested in that. Yeah. We're not a controversial pair. We don't think so. Um, but we do love Jesus. And if you love Jesus too... We had talked about maybe doing a video about this Bible study yeah. that she's leading. But the way that we could do it is we could just label label it that mm -hmm. so you know what you're getting into. Yeah, that way if you're like, and I'm oh a little, my goodness, I don't want to see it. I'm a little, I'll have to get kind of my brain around that and, and get that figured out. But And it's a little different. You having a group of women yeah. looking at you and you teaching and it being, you know, more interactive, interactive. versus in front of a Just camera that, and being yes. like, don't y'all think, or what do you think about yeah, that? Well, yeah, and they don't answer back until after we post the video. We could always do a YouTube live. Oh my, now that makes me nervous. Take it to a whole nother level. We'll see where we end up. But just saying that we are talking about it because yeah. I saw your messages back saying yes, you'd be interested. We've had a, we have had a lot of those messages. Yes. And thank you. And some of y'all are just so kind to just allow us to be who we are on here because we don't have any fancy halls or um, what else do people have? Lots of clothes, and or they teach you really good things. Or they're always traveling and yeah. showing you somewhere new. And, and I love those channels, or they're mm -hmm. cooking something up. But Absolutely. we just thank you for just coming in and enjoying your time with us. Yeah. We enjoy you being here. Yeah. And so with that, I'm going to say so long. So long. And oh, I should have said farewell. And I wanted to use monkey in a sentence, but I just could not figure out how to do it quick enough. Don't go monkeying around. Yeah. Uh, who is that? Colby? Uh, All right. Well, now yeah. I really do need to go. Yeah. I got to get out of here, too. So, bye. Bye, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and open this so that I'm not struggling. Oh, making noise. Ugh. And I guess I could talk about the house and how over it Bob is. Over it. Really? I hit me. There we go. I knew I was going to struggle with this thing. Oh my gosh. And what is that thing? Well, you're going to find oh, yeah. out. Yeah, don't tell me. So we'll keep all this fresh. <laughs> all right. And I don't have anything. You have yourself. I'll be here. All right, are you ready? Do, do you have to do a pose? Did you like the picture I put on? No. I knew you were going to do that. Well, I wasn't going to, but then when you said that I always picked the best picture of me, then I did it on purpose. I enjoyed it. I, I, I felt it. I felt that you did it on I purpose. I did. I enjoyed it. It made me laugh. But I I really do. You know what you think is a good picture of me? I I might go, oh, that that's not the way I see myself or something. So I don't know. I think all pictures of you are good. Some of them are just you, funny. When it was my birthday, Jonathan, I remember. Did I show it to you or just tell you about it? Well, but I remember at least telling you about a picture that I hated of yes, myself and that Jonathan loved. and that Jonathan loved and he posted that picture I think either on Facebook or Instagram or both I don't know and I thought oh that's the one Molly did not like but it's a beautiful yes, picture and I'm like, but that's what I'm serious? saying yes there was something about it that that is not the way you want to be reflected I know and he said this is a great picture yeah. yes, this is so, the worst picture it just makes you wonder how people <laughs> see you see you and how we see ourselves and then this I look at different. it like, if Jonathan finds that attractive, then my standards, you know, I should be pretty comfortable. It was, but it was really a pretty picture, but it, you did have a different expression. I did. It was and a bad angle. He liked it. He it loved showed it. all of the texture on my face. You know, but isn't it wonderful to have a husband who takes yeah. your picture and who, and who likes me? And, yeah, absolutely. That's a blessing. 
All right, we didn't say hi or anything. I know. Okay. Well, that's our next step. Okay. okay.